Hey friends, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for jumping on my channel and joining me for a class today. Now I have got a beginner Pilates class featuring our delightful little circular resistance band. Now if you're at home and you have a regular resistance band that's not in the shape of a circle, don't let that stop you from doing this um, workout. You can tie it in a loop um, and do everything just like that. It's nice and handy you know, don't have to have exactly the loop. But for those of us that do already, just grab your loop, roll out your mat, and let's get started. So we'll start with our upper body. And before we actually put on our band, just let your hands be soft down by your side, either on your thighs, off to the side of your mat, totally fine. But as always, you know what I'm gonna say, pull that belly button in, draw the ribs towards one another, sit a little taller, a little straighter, and let's just roll our shoulders back about three times going behind us. And then maybe three or four times going forward. Remember, don't have to be totally even. Our body will never be completely even. So if you end up doing a little more, a little less, not the end of the world. And then from here, let's inhale, take our hands nice and high. Exhale, flip the palms, press them down. Inhale, take them up nice and high. Exhale, press them down. One more time, big inhale, float them up nice and high. And we're going to circle our arms behind us now for three, Two more, last one. And then take them in the opposite direction. Big, great big circles, just waking up our upper body, saying hello, what's going on there? And then letting them come down. And then from here, we are gonna take our band and bring it around um, our forearms. And now I like to have them ever so slightly closer towards my wrist than down by my elbows, um, but still not on the wrist whatsoever. From here, I want you to hug your elbows into your sides and it's not a shoving down but instead imagine that you've got some newspaper underneath your armpits and you're lightly um, just kind of holding that newspaper right there so our elbows are in line with our rib cage we're not going to let them go forward or poke them behind us but they'll stay in line with our body the entire time here open up your palms as if you're holding a little tray now we don't want to drop our tray let's imagine it has our most favorite beverage on it so we want to keep it on up pull that belly button in take a big inhale and as you exhale you're just going to try and reach your thumbs away from one another and then pull them back in and notice as we go open and close my elbows are not moving away from my body they're staying connected I'm still holding that newspaper that mail whatever you have underneath your armpits as we open and close <sighs> Just a few more times, that slight slide away and pull it in. You've got this, my friends. Let's do two more. <sighs> Last one, open and hold right here. Really hug those elbows in, open up through the front of the body, and I want you to think of poking your um, thumbs back behind you for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Hold, sit up taller and straighter. Again, five, Four, three, two, one, hold. Big inhale. Again we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Who did we feel that? I definitely did. Now, as awkward as it is, we are going to slide up our guy above our elbow now. So it is closer to the elbow than to the shoulders, but still not on our joints. Above or below is usually where we're going. And now this time I'm gonna turn this way just so you can see me a little bit better. But if you can see, I've got a great big 90 degree um, bend at my elbow. And what often happens here is we collapse forward. Let's not do that, my friends. Instead, think of shoulder blades reaching towards one another while you're opening up through the front of the body. Keep that 90 degree angle in your elbow. I'm sorry, yeah, in your elbow, reaching our fingertips up. And as much as we can, we don't wanna let our elbows droop here. They wanna stay in line. It's like there's a table in front of you. And from here, I want you to take a big sip of air in. And then exhale, a light part. <sighs> Slide them back towards one another. 
exhale a light part. Inhale together. Exhale open. Inhale together. Exhale open. Two more just like this. And this is a big one. At any time you need to pause, you do exactly what you need to. It is absolutely fine. This is about you. Last one. Now hold that little V that we've created. Now, as you can see, my elbows are not reaching straight out side to side, but away from me in a little diagonal angle. And I just want us to lift up and drop down. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Three more, drop it down. Keep kissing those shoulder blades towards one another. Keep opening up through the front of our body. Last one up and down. And now from here, straighten out the arms. We should still be in a little diagonal V. My hands are a little bit wider than my mat, but if yours are a bit more narrow, that is a-okay. Keep reaching them um, forward and away from you while you kiss those shoulder blades in, zip up through the front of the body. And then from here, I want you to take a big deep inhale and we're gonna keep that resistance and drop our arms down. <sighs> inhale, slide them up. Exhale, drop them down. <sighs> inhale, slide them right back up. Exhale, right back down. <sighs> inhale up. Last one down. <sighs> inhale up. Hold, and then from here, we're going to do those same little pulses, but now we've got little blades, and I just want you to pulse your the back of your hands away from one another for five, four, three, two, one, hold. Belly button in, shoulders together behind you. Again, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Tone that tummy, repeat. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Hold, last time, five, four, three, two, one. Release, Ooh, how's that feeling? Now we're keeping the band on our arms, but we will ooh, send it back down. If it's stuck to you like mine was, that's okay. Um, right above our wrist, and we'll come onto our hands and our knees. We will be in a little tabletop position for a bit, so if you need extra padding, feel free to pad up. That is perfectly fine. And now we'll take our hands about shoulder distance apart, and there should be a little resistance there. We do not want to let that band fall down. We want to keep it lifted. Press away from the mat. Tone your belly. Pull that belly button up and in, and lengthen through the small of your back. Extend your right foot back behind you or the left if you want to do the other side, no big deal. From here, all I want us to do is keep pressing down into the mat, reach long through the back of your heel so we can extend our leg. Take a big sip of air in, exhale, float your back foot up. Let's point our toe. Imagine I am pulling your ankle. I am making you grow as long as you can from the tip of your head, through your spine, out that leg. And at the same time, you're still pressing down, down, down into the mat and keeping that band nice and far apart. Inhale, touch the top of the foot down to the ground. Exhale, low belly pulls up and in, lift your foot. <sighs> Inhale, touch the foot down. Exhale, lift it up. <sighs> Three more down, exhale, lift. Two more down, exhale, lift. Last one, lift and hold. I am still holding onto your ankle. I am pulling it out and away from you. You are pressing down into the mat. You are keeping your wrists nice and far apart. Guess what's coming? Tiny circles, my friend, everyone's favorite. Keep those hips even. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold, tone that belly, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Zip up, broaden again. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Last time, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one, 
whole. No, if you need to set yourself down, you do you. But if you can keep going, flex your back foot. Take a big inhale. Put a bend in your back knee. Did your hip just lift up? I hope not, but if it did, adjust. You could always drop the knee a little bit lower if that helps to keep the hips in alignment. But ideally, we should have a 90 degree angle in our knee just like we did in our wrist earlier. And similarly, we're going to lift our leg up, stamping our foot up to the sky. Big inhale to prepare. Exhale, tone the tummy as you lift. <sighs> Inhale, a small drop down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Do you see how little this movement is? It is small on purpose because my leg never really relaxes. Even when it lowers down, I'm still actively keeping it up. I'm just toning that tushy even more, squeezing that spot where my thigh and my glute connect as I lift and lower. Last one, lift, drop it down, extend the leg, point that toe. I am pulling it out and away again. Take a big inhale. Set the foot down, wiggle those hips if you need to, roll the shoulders if you want. Extend the opposite leg out behind you. Here we go. Keep pressing down into that uh, mat. Keep keeping that band, keep keeping, keep that band nice and wide. Take a breath, exhale, lift the leg, point the toe. What's happened here? This is a nice place for you to see if you shifted your weight forward, if that band has kind of changed at all. Um, ideally, we wanna keep the weight even between your right and left hand, even while we lift one leg behind us. Now, just as we did on the other side, I am pulling your ankle away. I'm also pulling your ears away so we can find all that length in our cervical spine. Inhale, drop the foot down, exhale, tone the tushy lift. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale, lift. <sighs> Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. <sighs> Three more down, lift it up. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> Last one, lift, hold, take a moment, take a breath. Is the weight still even between your right and left hand? Could you kiss those shoulder blades in? Could you tone your tummy more? What do you need to focus on? You know what's coming, tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Repeat as you reverse for five, four, three, two, one, hold. Again, five, four, three, two, one. Last time, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Big deep inhale. Great big breath out. Flex the foot, bend the knee. You know what's coming. It's that spot where we're keeping our pelvis, our hips so even. But as you exhale, you stamp your foot up. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, cinch that waist, tone your thigh as you lift. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Three more. Drop it down. Last one. Lower down, extend the foot, point that toe, grow long, take a breath, bring your foot in. Set yourself down, don't relax. I want you to keep your body nice and active. And then from here, we will keep pulling our belly button up and in, but I want you to pick up your right hand and try and set it off the mat and then slowly bring it back. Step it off the mat slowly bring it back. And if you don't go as far as I do, if you barely just move it away, that's okay. This is a big one. Out and in. Try and keep it nice and steady. It's easy to move it out and let it smack on back, but that's the challenging part, really. Of course, it's hard to pull it out, but it's just as hard to drag it back in. Let's do one more on the right side. Bring it back, stay. Press down through that right arm. Think of almost lifting up from your right wrist, and then we're gonna open and close the opposite side. Same thing here. And you might notice if you're hyperextending the elbows at all, you can always put a soft bend in that elbow. Or even if you don't hyperextend, you notice that would help you feel a little more stable. Do what you need to. It's all about modifying each exercise to your body. Not doing some cookie cutter pose or exercise. 
Last one on this side, bring it in. Stamp down, lift up, low belly up and in. Reach your left foot, I'm sorry, right foot back one more time. And then we're going to do the same thing with our low body, but we're going to lift our foot up and touch it outside the mat. Lift it up, bring it right back behind your hip. Inhale up, exhale down. <sighs> Inhale up, exhale down. <sighs> Now what you can think about to keep your um, leg parallel like mine is, is trying to point your heel up to the sky the entire time. It's really easy for us here to lift up and kind of just let that leg flop off to the side, but we've lost some of that activation, especially through our inner thigh, if we've done that. So keep that heel up, pointing up to the sky and keep your toes pointing down to the ground. And notice as we go in and out, are you shifting your weight from one side to the other, or maybe back to front. We wanna keep it so even, so steady. Last one, up and down. Bring it in. And now float the leg up just like we did before. We're going to move it off to the side, just like we did a moment ago, but no kind of um, swivel. It's just gonna slide open and slide close. Same thing here though, that heel stays up to the sky, that toe, stays pointing down to the ground. Inhale open, exhale, think of inner thighs pulling together. <sighs> Inhale open, exhale, tone that belly, pull it in. <sighs> Three more open, exhale, close. <sighs> Last one open, exhale, close. <sighs> Set the foot down, wiggle out that tail if you need to. Extend your opposite foot, press into the mat, broaden your shoulders, big inhale to lift, exhale, that toe touches down. Inhale, lift, exhale, right back behind you. Up and down, up and down. And the goal here is to, is to keep our body as quiet as possible, exclusively moving just the left foot, just the left leg. I guess the left foot's actually not moving. It's moving in the grand scheme, but it's not moving in relation to our body um, or as far as our body's being moved. But just a couple of more times, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, and then bring it back behind you. Notice, do we need to tone our stomach more? Do you need to broaden? Have you let your hands kind of come together? Could you open them out a little wider to really keep them nice and active? Big, deep inhale. Float that foot up, keep it flexed. Reach that heel away. Inhale, slide the foot off to the left. Exhale, inner thighs pull towards one another. <sighs> inhale, slide it off to the left. Exhale, pull it in. <sighs> Inhale, open it out. Exhale, close. Three more open. Exhale, close. Last one open. Exhale, close. Take one more breath. Set that foot down. Roll yourself onto your um, sitting bones, however you want to get there. And one more time. We'll sit up tall and straight and pull our elbows into our sides. Now this time, palms are not up to the sky. We're hugging, we're holding our imaginary little um, present here. And I want you to similarly pull your elbows in and sit up tall and straight. Take a great big full inhale. And then again, open as you exhale. <sighs> inhale, draw it back. Exhale, open. <sighs> inhale, pull it back. Exhale, open. Three more, just like this. Two more. Last one. Keep that V, just like we did before, but this time it's a little bit bigger. I want you to take a big filling breath. Keep the distance in your hands. Exhale, reach your arms long, send them away. And then pull them right back in. Let's inhale, take them out and away. Exhale, pull it right back in. Three more out and away. Exhale, pull it in. Two more. Exhale in. Last one, make it the best one. Reach it out, out, out. Sit up tall, relax that neck. Smile, you're doing wonderful. Slowly bring it in. Release the band away from you. Ooh, if it's stuck to you like mine was, that's okay. 
let your hands hang heavy down by your side and let's roll our shoulders. After a lot of upper body work, it is not uncommon for us to have a little tension in our neck. Now ideally, we don't want that to happen, but it does because we're humans and it's easy to grip and tense. So if you're feeling that, roll the shoulders as long as you need to in both directions, maybe even do one at a time. But eventually, one of my favorite ways to help loosen some of that is to simply take my left hand out and I flex my hand and drop my right ear to my right shoulder. And we're gonna think of lifting up through that left ear. And we can hold here for a moment, that can feel really nice. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, drop your nose down towards the ground or drop that chin down towards your shoulder. You can hold here. You might even play with lifting or lowering that hand or even internally or externally rotating. That can give you some different sort of feels. And then when you're ready, relax the hand, roll your chin to chest, look forward once more, and then same thing to the other side. Right hand out left ear to left shoulder, and I think about lifting my right ear up. That really helps to activate those muscles and you get a little bit more of an intense stretch, possibly. If you don't feel it quite as I do, that's okay. All bodies are different, remember. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, point your nose, your chin down. Once more, you can play with lifting and lowering that hand, finding some rotation if it feels nice. And then when you're ready, big breath. Hand down, chin to chest. Take your gaze forward. And as always, give yourself a great big pat on the back saying thank you for doing something so good for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed class and I can't wait to see you again.